to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. The Loon. And folks, we're excited because today we are making such an incredible, yes. easy stew that warms one you to the bone. One of my favorites. It's one, been one of our favorites. It's been our family Forever. for years. And we're going to share it with you. This is our white bean <laughs> and roasted chicken and tomatilla <laughs> Chili. You can't even begin to say. No, it. I was it's more I just, than three I just call words. It white chili. Yeah, it is. It is. It's really good, and it's white because it has white beans in it. Uh, That's so funny. Anyway, I was never going to say that with you. I gathered. <laughs> anyway, so let me tell you, we've I've already got it going. I went ahead and took the liberty, but this goes so fast. So what this is, this is one uh, medium onion over here that I chopped, and I got this going over kind of a nice medium hot heat. It's just starting to brown. Then I added uh, four cloves of garlic all that right. I minced, and I'm going to turn this down for so just. So they're getting all translucent. They're getting very translucent. <laughs> um, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just we're going to build this, and you're not going to believe how. Fast I want to talk about these real quick. Go ahead though. and talk about these it. are tomatillas, tomatillas, and they're actually basically they're called Mexican tomatoes. Yeah, and mm -hmm. they've got these little cute little wrappers wrappers on them. And they're, sometimes they're a little sticky when you peel them off. Yeah, just um, a little sticky. And um, do you get that? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then what? So I, I've already got um, six of these here that I'm going to dump gonna into throw the party in over here. But I just wanted to show you guys what this looks like because I love these things. They're so delicious. They got a little bit of a tartness to they them. They do. And the, some people think, oh, they must be because they're Mexican. They must be spicy, and they're not at no. all. They're completely mild. They. Um, you can actually pop really one of those in your mouth right now. You could. You could. But they're even better once they once they cook down. I'm gonna do it. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> okay. So now just you can find these. Let me say this. You can find these in a lot of um, grocery stores in the southern United States. Well, actually, gourmet, no. you can find them. Sometimes they can be a little difficult to find. If you just cannot find them and you live, say, in Australia or something and never heard of a tomatilla, you can use a green bell pepper um, these in are a place so good, of them. Though. Yeah, they're great. If you can find them, by all means, use yeah. them. All right. So, but if not, you can use a, a bell green pepper. Yeah, and then we got these pepper. things. The this Rotel, which I love. Which these is, things. These yeah, things. We got these things. Yes. Yeah, so diced tomatoes and green onions. Chili. Chilies. These are <laughs> tomatoes and green peppers Sorry. and green chilies. So you can you um, Rotel is again. This is sort of, as you're probably picking up on this. This is a staple. This this dish is very popular down. Well, I don't know if it's that popular down here, but down south where we live is where we love to eat it. And these ingredients and are very so easy to good. find. If you and can't find um, Rotel, lots of uh, manufacturers make tomatoes this with uh, peppers. You can you green can find peppers. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Green so chilies. And they all go into the. Hot. Hot. And then we're going to, now this does have just a little bit of heat to it, but not too much. Don't worry. This is one jalapeno pepper that I have uh, seeded. I took the seeds out and I took all of those ribs out that are in the middle because that's where the heat is. But if you want to leave some some seeds in it, then you can get a little more. Yeah, I mean, if you want, if you want to, if you want them really spicy, you can Watch leave some flow. seeds in. If you want it extra spicy, you can go with two jalapenos. If you want it not very spicy at all, go with a half jalapeno, or you can leave it out. But it's really as this cooks down, the the, the flavors, flavors meld a little bit. Wonderful. They mellow, and it's really perfect. So, so okay, so now I'm going to crank this heat back up, and we're going to let this go for about 10 to 12 minutes. And these tomatillas, they're beautiful. They really Yay. start to cook down and they become really, really soft. And so when you eat them in the, f <laughs> or you can juggle with them. Um, oh, don't, nope, please. I can't. Oh, oh no. Boy, that's, <laughs> I'll grab those. This is the story of my life. <laughs> anyway, um, these cook down for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna add all these other incredible flavors <laughs> and ingredients and then we're gonna eat it. <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> Flo, come back here. <laughs> Okay. okay, everybody. So this is cooked down. These are so these tomatillas. I mean, they they're kind of big, which I like. You know, I kind of like them big, <laughs> <laughs> but they're they're really soft, and so they're they're just like a wonderful I, mouth. I mean, but you know what? I kind of disagree that okay. they're not that soft because I do like the little bit of a bite that they have. Yeah. No, I don't mean they're mushy. They're definitely right. um, they have a texture to them. Yeah. But you may they kind of look like to me sometimes they look like apples that like are little the, crab apples. Like, like like wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. And Actually they taste like crab apples when you no, have it when they're not don't taste No, oh, when yeah, they're cause, uncooked cuz they're a little sour. Yeah. Yes. But when they're cooked they they become mellow yes, and sweet. They taste great and they're like me. They're a wonderful vehicle for taste. <laughs> Thank you. So anyway, <laughs> what I've added to that was 2 cups of chicken stock 
if you can make your own chicken stock, do it. That's always best. Yes. But this is a quick dinner. I mean, you know, you don't have to do that. But anyway, so now I've got right here, this is seven ounces of chopped green chilies. Yes. Canned green chilies. They're like poblano chilies. They're in they're in your Mexican food aisle. Yeah. They're yeah. everywhere. They're super easy to find. If not, you can order them online. Um, but Super that's 17 easy. ounces. So that's two of those small little cans or one of the bigger right. ones. Okay, that's great. Now we've got, it wouldn't be a chicken chili without chicken, right? White so chicken chili. this is, <laughs> this is it's a little over two cups. What I love to do, again, this is all about ease. I get a rotisserie chicken from the supermarket. They're so delicious. The yeah. only challenge there is to keep him from coming over. <laughs> he just wants to eat the skin. Anyway. I'm like, wait a minute. Is there a chicken, a yeah, roasted chicken in this I house? I mean, we think flow is bad, but I mean, <laughs> I'm having to swat him away. Don't anyway, be that. that goes into the, to the mix, and we're just going to keep on building these flavors. We're not even close to being done. Now here, oh, so good, here so I've good. got um, some seasonings. I've got some salt and pepper and some dried oregano and some dried cumin. Yes. As always, go to How to Feed a Loon. You'll see the complete measurements right there. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to do some fresh cilantro. Mm. This is a quarter cup. If you hate cilantro, mm. it, uh, just omit it. Oh, it smells so, it's so good. good. And again, these flavors, they it. all really kind of, they mellow a little bit and they meld together. And so this is not a pronounced flavor of anything in here. It's so good. Okay, now the white White beans. part of the chili. So these are just two cans of white beans that, that I, they've got white beans, you can use great northern beans, you can use cannelloni, just, you know, make sure they're white, otherwise then it's not really white, white chili. chili. <laughs> um, and then what I did was I just drained them and then I ran a little water over them. And finally, what's gonna, you know me, I just love a burst of citrus flavor that yeah. just amps up the flavor. This is a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lime juice. Sounds good. Ugh. Now, now the rule is for normal chili in Texas, there are no beans. Well, Texas, yeah, red, red chili. Red, yes, but for That's, this white chili, we put some beans in there. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, and, and I know plenty there of Texans. There are no rules for white bean chili. Yeah. For white chili. <laughs> well, that we know of. Um, <laughs> right. I mean, we are in Texas. But um, in our family, we like, some people like beans and their chili, yes. you know. Um, but anyway. But so can now, I tell about my favorite part of this? Are these lovely yes. little crispy tortilla strips. Yeah. So this oh. is going to, really, really, all you really want to do is let this just simmer and they heat through. Let those flavors meld a little bit. But we're talking maybe another 15 minutes and it's done. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Tell them about that. So basically, we just took some tortillas. And we laid them out and cut them into little strips. And then we took those and we put them into some hot oil. How hot is that oil? 350-ish, you know, just hot enough to, it doesn't take long for these out, to cook. Took them out, put them on a, on a paper towel to get the grease off. And now they're ready. And they're so good because I'm chewing it yeah, right now. Yeah, he can't stop eating them. They're anyway, perfect. These are really the perfect. They're, they're, we'll show you a couple other garnishes that are going to go with this soup once it's done. This the stew. Fun, these are um, so much fun. But they are, they're really perfect and it all goes together. So we're almost there, folks. Yes! Okay, okay. everybody. So, I mean, it's this ready. has been simmering for, oh, 10, 15 minutes. Just you want to heat it for. It smells heavenly. It smells crazy. Yay. It's so good. Okay, I'm going to turn the wait. heat off here. And not. This is such a great, and you know, this is it's one of those so things. It's so easy for a weeknight. And too. it, you know, it's definitely one of those things. It's even better. <gasps> yes. Look at that. The next Love day. It. It's so, so good. Okay. So I'm going to now. Yes. Ladle me. <laughs> ladle you up. <laughs> okay. Let me just put this right here. Yes. And then. Uh, here. You want to just stick it in there? Well, like, okay. There you go. You want to show the people at home, that's what you want to do, don't you? I knew this was going to be a problem. Well, okay. <laughs> there. Okay, look at that. Wow. And it's just so chock full of yumminess. Mm. And that, that broth is so, <gasps> so flavorful. You just can't believe it. I mean, doesn't that look amazing? Okay. That is, that, this is, you guys make it. It's gonna, it's so good. I just, I eat it like by the buckets. Yeah, literally. <laughs> okay, we're going to start right, selling can, it in the market. Let me right. do my own. Thank you. Accoutrement. Okay, so, so now, what I like to do, thank you, I know how to make my own food. Okay, we'll try to do it within okay. a reasonable All amount right. of So time. I like to put a little dollop of sour cream right down there in the... Oh, I'm just going to use my fingers, people. There we go. Mm. Okay. And now... And then he licks it. Okay. <laughs> it's, we're family, so... Then I, okay. Exactly. And then I like to put a little cheese around that... 
So this is just a common, use whatever kind of cheese you love. But cheddar cheese is great. This is Monterey a Mexican Jacks. blend, they call it's, it. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> mix with Colby. Um, we like the thick cut. Uh, you can get a box yes. grater and get those nice uh, thick cuts. of. Oh, I keep my hands in front of every, every when I'm making this. And then I like to do these lovely, lovely crispy tortillas. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. Oh, wait, and then the pea, the... Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just cilantro. <laughs> Don't try to be fancy. Yeah, so anyway, and then, I mean, look at that. Look at Isn't that. that beautiful. I Yay. mean, you might as well throw another one of these. Yeah. These things are so. He cannot help himself. They're so flavorful. <laughs> All, All right, right. Guys, so that's not only, del well, I have, we haven't tasted it yet, but I'm yes. pretty sure it's delicious. I'm going in. But it's also beautiful. It's I mean, you so... can serve this at a nice restaurant. It, well, it is a nice restaurant. <laughs> Chris's <Yeah>. Kitchen. <laughs> All right. Let's, All right. Let's, oh, look at that. I love how the sour cream mixes in with the, yeah. with the broth. The sour cream gives it a little bit of a creamy texture. I mean, if you don't like sour cream, mm -hmm. then leave I it out. I need my tomatilla there. It all comes together beautifully. Mm. All right. Yay. Mmm. Mmm. And it just warm. You oh, know. all the way down. I know. Oh, this is like... Summer, not no, uh, winter. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this is like winter, yeah, uh, it, at at its best. It's delicious year time around, but we're when we're filming this right now, it it's happens to be crazy cold, and, and we're down so in good. Texas and up further north. It's like oh, Antarctica. Yes. So this is the kind of thing that just makes yeah, you I know. Feel look at the cheese, cheesy and delicious. <laughs> and now this. Sorry, I have to do one more. <laughs> mm. Oh mm. my gosh, my mm. stomach just growled. Mm. I'm mm. so hungry. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna get the cheese off my face. <laughs> like I ever care about that. Wow. That is definitely 100% loon approved. <laughs> yes, I had a feeling that would be the <laughs> You're case. You're looking at me like, would you please just say it? <laughs> These people would like to move on with their day at some point. Oh, so good, y'all. I gotta have some. Yes. Are you gonna just dip right out of there? Yeah. Now, you can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. And go to our social media and share and like and do all that. You know yes. what's so great? It really is an amazing combination of flavors. It's I'm telling you, the lime juice is so Oh, you know what? Delicious. I didn't even describe it. I know. You were just too busy. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, no. But it's oh, really, I, love I mean, it. this, is, this has been one of our favorite for years. Yes. And um, yes. every time I have it, I'm rem reminded why. <laughs> I feel like we should sing a song. <laughs> White bean chili. Hmm. Or just eat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi. Now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. And to get more amazing Tex-Mex recipes like this one, just click right yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>